Now I want to create tags for my posts. To do it, I have to create a new model and another table in the database accordingly. But first of all, I want to have migrations. Migrations are something like Git, a virtual control system for databases. What do I mean? In the moment, my database has only post table that's responsible for storing data about my posts. If I create a new model, the tag, for example, ID field will be the same. So migrations. I've got some changes in my model's py file that are not reflected in my database. So at the present moment, I have a mismatch between what is and what should be in the database. This issue also concerning deleting fields, changes, and adding various database constraints, such as uniqueness of fields, default values, etc. And uh, to update my database to the current state of my model's py file, I have to add another table to the database. Or if I want to add a new field to my post model, I have to reflect these changes in the database too. And uh, without migrations, I can achieve it only if I'll delete my database and create a new one with a new structure. The same I will have to do if I want to delete a field of a post model, for example. And of course, it's the awful idea to delete a database that already stores some data. And uh, I need some system that will make amendments to the database accordingly to the changes of the model's py file. That's why I need migrations. So I am commenting my tag for a while. And now I need to install two Flask extensions. Flask migrate and Flask script. And uh, in the app py file, I have to import them from Flask migrate import I need migrate class and the migrate command class and from flask script I need to import manager manager class and I need to create instances of these classes so the migrate will be migrate i need to pass into it my flask object my app variable and uh, db variable sql alchemy object and the manager will be manager and now i want to register commands that i will use in the terminal to make migrations to, and apply them manager add command method the command will be db and uh, i need the migrate command class and that's all then i want to create manage py file like in Django, and from app import manager here and from main i want to import all the entry point will be manager run that's all now i can use migrations and now i have to initialize migration system to reflect initial state of my app and the database it's something like a screenshot of the state of my project i can close manage and I need a terminal python manage py 
I need the db command. This one. And I need init command. And I've got the migrations folder. And uh, now I can add uh, a new model to my project, the tag model. So I want to uncomment it. And uh, the tag will have title. And it will have slug2. The constructor. I am calling this super class its init method and I am passing into it all positional and keyworded arguments and uh, self slug will be equals immediately slugify and I am passing into it the title of the slug the title of the tag and uh, the wrapper method and it will be f string and that's all now i have to make migrations and I've apply them python manage py db migrate command to make migration files it's done and to apply them i am calling the upgrade command and now i've got a new table in my database now let's create a tag i need a sql alchemy object import post tag flask will be an instance of the tag the title will be flask the slug will be flask2 Now I want to associate post and tag models. That's to say I want to add a many to many relationship that binds posts and tags. Many to many relationship means that one post can have many tags and uh, one tag can have many posts. So our post table looks in a database like this. It has ID, title, slug, etc. I have three posts first, second, third. And I have the tag table that has the ID field, the title, etc id1, id2, id3, flask, python, Django, for example, anything you want. And uh, many to many relationship can be implemented by creating additional table in a database, like this, for example, something like posts tags table and uh, it will have two columns post id tag id and the id of the record so the post id let's say will be one 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 and tag id will be one two three so the first column is ids of posts and the second column is ids of tags here 
the posts with the ID number 1 has an association with the tags with ID 1, 2 and 3. And for example, post number 2 with ID 2 will have an association with the, the tag with ID number 2 only, for example. And uh, thus I have to create additional table in my database. And um, in the models py file somewhere in the top of it, I want to define a new table. It will be the posts tags table and uh, it will be an instance of the db table class and uh, the first argument is the name of the table. It will be posts tags name. When I described the models post and tag, I didn't specify names of table explicitly because Flask SQL Alchemy sets the names automatically according to the class names, the post and tag accordingly. But in this case, I didn't create a new model, a new class. So I have to specify the name of the table explicitly. So the name is posts tags. Then I have to specify columns of that table db column and the first argument of the column will be the name of that column post id and again in the case of the models flask sql alchemy takes the name of a column from the name of a class variable id title slug etc but in this case in the case of this table i have to set the column name explicitly so the first argument for the first column will be post id then data type it's an integer and uh, the third argument is a foreign key class and that takes a path to the value of a record in the case of the post it will be post and its property id its field and uh, I want to focus your attention that in the first argument I used underscore here because it's the name of the column. But in the third argument I'm using dots because the ID is the attribute of the post in instance, post class. It's a path to the models field. That's why there is dot. The same way the second column I've got the table and uh, now I want to set the association, a relationship between my two models, between post and tag. And I can do it by creating additional field in the post model. So let's define it here. I need tags. I'm calling the relationship method. And the first argument is the name of the class I want to set a relationship with. It's a tag class. The second argument is the table that will be used to store the data about associated models. Uh, it's the posts tags table. It's uh, the secondary parameter posts tags table. The third argument is the back ref, back reference back reference to the post model. It's the field that instances of the tag model will get. And this field will return a list of posts associated with a certain tag. So it's the db back ref and the name of the corresponding field will be posts. And the last argument, I want to use lazy loading of associated object and to load them only when I access to this data. So it will be the lazy parameter with the dynamic value. And now I have to make changes in my database. I have to call 
migrate command and I have to call upgrade command. Okay, it's done. Again, I need Python from app import db from models import post tag. Then I want to get the tag. I have only one tag. Okay, and I need a post at least one. Okay, let's check a new field of the post object. Post tags appender base query. Okay, let's call the all method. And I've got an empty list. And um, to associate the first post with the first tag, I have to append this list with a tag. So my post, I need a tags attribute. I am calling the append method and I am passing the tag variable to the append method. Okay, post tags all. I've got a list with one element, with one tag, and uh, now I want to save it to the database. Session object add post. DB session commit. Okay, let's test it. Control Z, I Python again. And uh, we can see a list with one element, with the flask tag. It's working. The next step is to render tags in templates. And uh, I want to use bootstrap cards and badges. So I want to render tags in the footer of the card. So I need a footer. like this one, just copy it and um, paste it here. A for loop here for tag in post tags and then I am using the budge. I need something info, for example. And here I am pasting tag title. Let's test it. F5 and I've got flask. Maybe button change to to light btn light okay much better and uh, i want to hide footer if there is no tags i can do it with the following i want to check if post tags and I'm calling the count function. The count will return an integer, zero or non-zero. So I can use it here. F5, okay. And uh, now I want to have a link to the page with post associated with a certain tag. To do it, first of all, I need a view function, a new view function. So in the blueprint py file, I have no separate blueprint for tags, so I use the posts blueprint and um, a new view will be the following. The road 
decorator will get tags and slug. Tag detail the function that will take the slug, the tag. Query, filter, and I need all tags with the slug that equals to the slug variable. The first and the returning value will be render template posts tag detail HTML and uh, I am passing into it the tag variable. Now I have to create tag detail function. It will extend the base HTML. And here in the for loop, I have to render cards of my posts, but it will violate the dry principle. Don't repeat yourself, because I will use the same code in two HTML templates in the posts HTML and here in the tag detail HTML. And uh, to fix it, I want to move the card layout to a separate HTML file. So in the posts directory, I'm creating a new directory includes. And here I'm creating a new file card HTML. And uh, in this card HTML, I want copy this card. Control X and control V copy and paste here in the post HTML I am using the include tag and then posts directory includes card HTML to render the card layout here and the same I want to use in the tag detail HTML. For post in tag posts. Let's test it. F5. Nothing changed. Include works. And at last I want to add link to the tag label. I want to do the same like I did for posts. So I need the card layout. And in the batch span, I want to wrap this title into a tag. And the href attribute will be URL for posts tag detail function and the slug will be tag slug. Let's test it. It works but I don't like CSS. Okay, it works. I've got the posts associated with the flask tag. So uh, maybe it's better to use span inside the A attribute, the A tag. F5, okay, and uh, I forgot the header. and uh, margin from top four for the card. 
If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.